In April of 2021, my content site, manlywellness.com, was acquired by a public company. These are the seven ways we ranked for 133,000 keywords and got 117,000 visitors per month in under 12 months. Are you a blogger or aspiring blogger? Do you wanna rank for keywords on Google without wasting too much time? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna share my seven step process for ranking for all sorts of keywords. Parts of steps one and four are found nowhere else on the internet. Okay, let's get started. Step one. Keyword research hacks. 91% of pages on the web get no organic search traffic from Google. That's because most people write about whatever's on their mind without considering search volume or difficulty. Keyword research is the practice of figuring out which keywords have a high enough search volume to be worth your time, but aren't so competitive that you'll never rank. I like to do keyword research with this four part process. Step one is to ideate by typing your root keyword into Google and looking at the autocomplete suggestions. Google does put those in loose order of search volume. Also check out Quora and Reddit for other long tail keyword ideas. Next, get a keyword research tool or use Google Ads Keyword Planner to find precise search volume. Order your keyword opportunities based on what you find. Most keyword research tools also have a difficulty metric to help you determine how hard it will be to rank for that given keyword. Next, keep your juices flowing by looking at your competitor's Google Ads in a keyword research tool. All the Google Ads that run at the top of Google search engine results page are pay per click. So you can take it to the bank if your competitors are paying for a given keyword, it's very likely that it's a high converting keyword. Finally, Find keywords that low domain authority sites rank for. Use a keyword research tool or a little common sense to find low authority sites. If they rank for a keyword, it shouldn't be very difficult for you to do the same. Step two, emerging keywords. Emerging keywords are a gold mine. When we sold manlywellness.com, we ranked for a ton of keywords in the online therapy and men's health space. As a user of teletherapy and men's health products, I was on the ground floor and we were able to win those searches before others could. If there are new businesses or trends in your industry, get on them fast. If you're the first one to write about them, there's a very high likelihood that you can rank for those keywords. Rack your own brain to find emerging keywords, but also check out Google Trends, Exploding Topics, or even Twitter or Reddit for inspiration. Step three, master search intent. With the proliferation of AI tools, Google is becoming more real about intent matching than ever before. You need to create unique value for your users by matching Googlers and your searchers intent perfectly. So you need to understand these two things about intent. First, intent falls into a few categories, informational, navigational, transactional, and commercial intent. Not all searchers are looking for exactly what you think they are. So for the love of God, type your keyword into Google. What content ranks at the top of the search engine results page? Is it a bunch of plain old web pages? Is it a blog post? Is it a product page? Is it a YouTube video? Figure that out. Second, because Google values its users so much, it favors sites that cover topics completely. A user searching for best webinar tools probably wants to read about their options, review each one, and maybe even buy a tool. So all things equal, there are compounding effects of having more content that matches varying intents. That's why niche sites work so well. Step number four, create the best thing on the internet. Yeah, quality matters a lot. Gone are the days of getting to page one of Google's search engine results page by writing a mediocre 500 word article. As a founder or content writer, you need to create error-free content that's the right length, includes the right keywords, and follows best practices. Some of the most important quality tips to keep in mind are start strong. Your introduction matters a lot. Russia's search engine, Yandex, had its source code leaked recently, and intro paragraphs are actually even weighted higher than the rest of the content. So Google knows a lot of people bounce off your page. You only have a few seconds to both hook a reader or a viewer and establish expertise, authority, and trust. So I like to start my articles with statistics or personal experiences. Next, talk less and say a whole lot more. Make every second on page count for whoever is consuming your content. Be engaging, focus on readability, and cover all the major points. Next, word count. Yes, it matters. In our correlative studies, we found that adhering to an optimal word count does help with keyword rankings on Google. Plus, there's a certain amount of information required to completely cover a topic for the most engaged readers. Also, make sure your posts and pages are scannable. That means using bullets, numbered lists, images, and headlines to break up text. Which do you prefer, big blocks of text or something with a delightful flow? So the design doesn't need to be fancy, but it does need to be organized and skimmable, especially because so many people will be consuming your content on a tiny mobile device. If you're unsure of any of these steps, use a content optimization tool to guide your work. Step five links the smart way. Google is all about trust. And one of Google's most trusted currencies is links, both backlinks and internal links. Backlinks are hyperlinks from one site to your own, whereas internal links are from a page on your site 
to another page on your site. So in a perfect world, your backlinks are from reputable sites and all the links have anchor text that reference your keywords you're trying to rank for. The easiest way to build a link machine are with these three steps. Consider doing consistent press releases and press outreach. Drumming up press for backlinks is about identifying moments that are worth celebrating, then writing a press release, and then reaching out to about 50 sites or editors that you've identified as potentially interested in the news. When sites write about you, they link to you. And FYI, even unlinked mentions are super helpful. Next, guest posting. Open a spreadsheet and create a list of names and contact emails of 10 bloggers or adjacent companies in your space. Reach out to them and ask if they'd like to be part of a non-reciprocal link group with you. Then reach out to another set of sites and ask if they'd be willing to accept quality guest posts. In each guest post, then link to your own site and at least a few of your link building partner sites. If you establish a one-for-one -one exchange, they'll owe you a lot of links really, really fast. Next. Internal link building. Ensure you can get to your homepage or any other page in your site in three clicks or less. If this is true, your site is easily discoverable and Google crawlable. When creating net new content, link to your existing content manually or by using an internal link suggestion tool. Step six, capture leads like an expert. Without leads, businesses cannot convert customers and generate sales, but knowing how to effectively capture leads can be a little bit challenging. Which mechanisms work best? An email capture, a downloadable asset, or going in for the kill immediately with a sale? The real answer to this question is, it really depends. So take the example of a niche about landing page software. Landing page software enables marketers to make web pages that convert without having to know how to code. In an article about how to run Facebook ads, you may not be able to sell a subscription to Unbounce or Instapage or different landing page software. So in this case, you might ask your readership to sign up for your email list. It's more appropriate and it's probably easier to do. But in an article about Unbounce versus Instapage, you can go right in for the kill and sell an Unbounce subscription. Think about your content in terms of a funnel and you'll optimize for lead capture. Use a tool like Lead Pages or Hello Bar to capture leads. Step seven, scale like a startup. I worked at multiple startups in San Francisco and I learned a heck of a lot. I'll tell you about that now. To scale your content operation, you need a startup mentality. You need to be able to write content, pivot based on conversions and write again. And the only way to do this is with a business that runs on data. So pick a goal and make sure your goal is being recorded in Google Analytics or whatever analytics tool you're using. Whether it's an email capture, a download, a demo booked, or whatever it is that's important for your business, make sure it's being recorded. You can even use dashboards of your affiliate partners to understand where clicks that are converting are coming from. So are there certain posts or videos that are working better than others? Look at the results of your content to find measures of success. And finally, scaling like a startup means putting systems in place and using Using tools to speed up your output. Use an AI writing tool like Growth Bar to scale your content production. If you have a system that works, productize as much as you can and outsource as much as you can to make a conveyor belt of content. Moving fast really, really matters. All right, let's wrap it up. Step one, keyword research hacks. Step two, emerging keywords. Step three, mastering search intent. Step four, creating the best thing on the internet. Step five, links the smart way. Step six, capture leads like an expert. Step seven, scale like a startup. And I'll add a final step, don't get discouraged. Part of SEO is an iteration game. If there's a keyword you really care about, update your content every month or two. Small tweaks may help you find a winning combination. Plus, search engines definitely favor newer content. So feel free to update as much as you want. And give Growth Bar a try for free. I've included a link below. Use it first or your competitors might.